guys, it is Jen with Mother Time. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing some super cute, easy, and affordable Valentine's Day gift ideas. Wait until you see these. Super duper easy to whip up. Plus, I have free printable gift tags that go with each of these. I cannot wait to show you these, so stay tuned. If you are new here to my channel, welcome. I love sharing home decor, cooking, and DIY here on my channel. So if those are videos you enjoy watching, click that subscribe button below so you never miss a video. Okay, you guys, you know what time it is. Grab yourself a hot cup of coffee or hot tea, sit back, relax, and let's head into the kitchen and get started. Here's a peek of the gift tags that I will be using. You can download them for free on my blog and I'll include a link for them in the description below. All of the gift tags come in two different colors, either black or brown, and there's three different sizes of each color, two inch, two and a half inch, and then a two by five. Once you download the gift tag bundle, you can print whatever gift tags you like, and you can even print these on sticker paper too, which I will be using for a few of these today. First up, I'm going to be using the Hugs and Kisses and Valentine's Wishes gift tag and I printed this on sticker paper. Look at how cute this tag is. And this is the sticker paper I use. It's from Target. I'll include a link for that in the description below. Hobby Lobby and Dollar Tree are two of my favorite places to find jars. This jar that I'm using is actually from Dollar Tree, but I'm just going to be swapping out the lid. I always collect lids, especially from like candles, and I had a cuter lid that I'm going to be using for this. I love adding the sticker to the front of the jar. Look at how cute this looks. And then I found these hugs and kisses, Hershey kisses. I found these at Walmart, but I believe I've even seen them at the grocery store and Target. So look at how cute this one is with the hugs on it. And this is the lid that I am swapping out for the other lid. You can use whatever Hershey Kiss you like. They always have fun seasonal flavors too. One of my favorites is the mint truffle from Christmas. I love that one. Let me know in the description below what your favorite Hershey Kiss is. To gift this, I'm adding the jar into this clear gift bag. You can find these at Hobby Lobby, Target, Dollar Tree, and then I'm adding some paper shred into the bag because paper shred always makes things more fun, especially for a gifty like this. And then I love using these small little rubber bands. They're from Dollar Tree in the hair section, and it just helps keep the bag closed. I'm wrapping it also with a piece of torn homespun and a button, and there it is. This easy and thoughtful gift is perfect for a friend, neighbor, or coworker to brighten their day for Valentine's Day. Next up, I'm gonna be using this tag, a little treat for someone sweet, and I found this tin in the Target dollar spot, and I'm gonna be filling it with these cookies from Walmart. I'm gonna add some parchment paper in the tin and then arrange the cookies. I'm able to fill two tins with one package of these cookies. These cookies are so cute and they are perfect for Valentine's Day and they're really good too. And a package of these cookies costs about $6.47 and this is what I have left over after filling one tin. To gift this, I'm gonna wrap the tin with ribbon. This ribbon is from Hobby Lobby, and then I'm gonna use my heart punch, also from Hobby Lobby, to attach the tag. And here is my tin of cookies, all ready to gift, who wouldn't love this? Next up, I'm gonna be using I'm Nuts About You tag. I have this trowel mix that is from Target. I always love all of their trowel mix. They have great seasonal ones, but I love this Neapolitan Sunday one. And then this jar is from Dollar Tree. I printed the tag on sticker paper and I'm going to attach the tag to the lid. Finally, I'm gonna wrap some homespun around the jar and add a cute little button, and this is ready to gift. Mm -hmm. 
this yummy treat is perfect for a nut lover. They will go nuts over this. One of my favorite gift jars to make is cookies in a jar. Who doesn't love cookies in a jar? It's so fun and easy to make and makes a perfect gift. So I am making Cupid's cookies. These are so easy and yummy. So in the bottom of a quart size mason jar, I'm adding flour, salt, baking soda, and baking powder. Then I'm gonna tamp it down. Next, I'm adding my brown sugar and then sugar, and then I'm gonna fill it with chocolate chips. And then of course, seasonal M&Ms. I'll include a full list of the ingredients as well as exact measurements in the description below. You can also find it on the blog with the printable tag and I'll include a link for that in the description below. Next, I'm going to attach the tag with the instructions. Now, I wish I used a smooth glass jar because I would have loved to use a sticker on the jar with the instructions. And then I'm adding a little button as well. Here it is, all ready to gift. I like to pop these in a cute little Valentine's Day gift bag. You can always find cute ones at the Dollar Tree. Another idea is you can tuck the jar in a mixing bowl from Dollar Tree, along with some utensils and an oven mitt. It's super cute as well. I've shared that idea in my holiday gift in a jar videos. I'll include a link for that in the description below. Next up, I'm gonna make two ingredient strawberry fudge. I'm gonna start with a bag of good quality white chocolate, and then I like to stick a little bit of butter in the white chocolate just to prevent any seizing of the white chocolate. And I'm going to microwave this in 30 second increments until it is nice and creamy. Then I'm gonna stir in some strawberry frosting. I really like the Duncan Hines, so you're gonna just pop that in the bowl and fold it in until it is all combined. Next, I'm gonna pour the fudge in a nine by nine baking dish that I lined with parchment paper and spread it out. I also like to use my hands, so I spray my hands with a little bit of Pam and that helps spread it out evenly. You can find the full recipe with exact measurements in the description below. Then I'm gonna to top it off with some sprinkles and then I'm going to pop it in the refrigerator until the fudge is set. Once the fudge is set, I'm gonna remove the parchment paper and cut it into pieces. This fudge is so yummy, especially if you love strawberry. I wish I could give you a piece so you could try it too. To gift this yummy strawberry fudge, I'm going to fill this cute little heart tin that I found at Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to arrange my fudge in the tin. Next, I'm going to attach the tag to the front of the tin. And finally, I'm gonna make a little bow with this ribbon, also from Hobby Lobby, and I'm going to hot glue it onto the tag. And here it is, all ready to gift. Who wouldn't love this sweet treat? Last up, I'm gonna make a gifty perfect for a coffee lover. I add some paper shred into a mug and this Javalia cappuccino coffee is so good, you guys. You have to try it. Let me know in the description below if you've tried it before. I get it at Walmart. So I add a couple of the K-cups along with the frothy that gives it the really yummy cappuccino taste. 
into the mug. You get 12 K cups in this, so you can do a lot of gifties with this or save some for yourself. And then I add some more paper shred. Another idea is you could add a gift card into the mug instead, or you could attach the tag to a nice package of coffee. And obviously you can find mugs at lots of different stores, but I like to check out Dollar Tree because it's a great place to find affordable mugs to make these gifties. I tied the bag with a piece of torn homespun, attached a button, and this tag that says, I love you a latte. And here it is, ready to gift for Valentine's Day. Okay, you guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. And let me know in the comments below what your favorite gift idea was. And for daily decor and DIY inspo, as well as behind the scenes and stories, make sure you're following me on Instagram at Mother Time. Thank you so much for spending time with me here today. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.